In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how the basics of creating a puff embroidery. We're going to start out with just this simple letter P. Uh, I'm going to do the inside of it in puff. Uh, I choose this font style just because it would probably look good in puff. I'm not going to be concerned about doing the drop shadow right now. Maybe later we'll do that. In any case, what we're going to do first is we're going to select the freeform tool and the running stitch and we're going to make a run stitch around the perimeter what I'm looking for is coming up to where a column will end this column will go that way so I'm going to end right here and we're going to switch to the column tool now since this one is going to be rounded on the end it's probably not mandatory that we do this However, if it was squared off, you would absolutely have to block it off. You see, these stitches running this direction are going to cut the foam here. Now, what we want to do is we need to use a very tight density. Use our satin stitch, and we're going to use a density of around 2 for this so that the foam gets a nice clean cut. We're going to switch back to the running stitch tool and we're going to go around the letter some more. What this does is this kind of gives a preliminary cut to the foam. Once again we're going to cut this out. With our capping block. And that will give us our cut. We're going to go up and we're going to outline the inside of the P the same. We don't have any capping blocks on the inside of the P. A trick that you can use you, sometimes this particular line, especially on a, a straight block letter, this line that will cut will line up with the stitch angle. So what we like to do sometimes is we like to go to the edges and tell it make one side random. That way it doesn't make such a distinct line in the embroidery. Now we've got the inside outlined and what we will do sometimes is we'll just kind of tack. I'm just going to use a manual stitch, but you can use a uh, fill underlay for this. This will just help tack the foam down to keep it from squirting out when uh, we go to sew it. Now we're going to come up here, we're going to make it very low density because I'm going to tack back across this and I don't want it to be really thick. If your column width is very wide, you won't be able to use a manual stitch for this. You have to be aware of what your stitch length is going to be. This letter is only going to be maybe an inch and a half tall, so this column width is pretty simple. Okay, now the only thing left to do is use the column tool and we're going to go back over the top and you're going to digitize this just like you would if it were a regular embroidery. Just remember that you're going to need to use a very high density of around two and be careful of your overlaps like in this area. We'll start here and here and continue on. And that's pretty much how you do a puff embroidery. 
remember your stitch count is going to be really high on these so uh, charge accordingly